hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we will learn how to create a sidebar with some links in this website you can see a sidebar where you can see the user's image then we have some icons and if i take cursor on this sidebar it will expand the width and now you can see the user's name and then you can see the link text for dashboard report rewards and at the end we have the logout link and if I remove the cursor again it will hide the text and you can see only icons so we will create this beautiful sidebar using HTML and CSS so let's start the video here in this folder you can see one HTML file one CSS file and another folder called images and you can see some icons and the background image in this folder you can find all these images download link in the video description now I will open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure and this one is the CSS file. In this HTML file I have added this link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file. Next we will add the code within this body tag. So here we will create one div with the class name header. Next we will add the CSS for this header. So write this class name here in this CSS file and here we will add some CSS properties. In this header I have added the width and height then background image and then we have added the background position and background size. After that let's come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. Now you can see this colorful image on the complete web page. Next, we will close this browser and I will open it with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server so that it will refresh the web page automatically. Again, you can see the same web page but the URL has been changed. Now let's come back and within this header, we will create another div with the class name Side Nav. In this Side Nav, first we will create one div with the class name User where we will display the user's image and user's name. So let's add the image with the img tag write the file path and file name is user dot png and let's add the class name also so the class name is user img after that we have to add the user's name and email id so we will add it in a div let's add a div and the user's name and after closing of this div we will add another icon so let's copy this img tag write it here and here we will replace the file name it is star.png and we will change the class name also star img after adding this let's come back to the website and here you can see the user's image name email id and this star icon now let's come back and after this div which is for the user here we will add one ul tag and in this ul tag we will add li for the list items and in this one we will add the image and text so let's add the image write img tag images slash and the file name that is dashboard icon and after this img we will add the text in p tag so this is the first list item let's duplicate this line and change the image and text after updating this let's come back to the website and you can see other icons also and the text at the end of this list we will add one more icon that is for the logout so let's come back and after this ul let's add another ul and li and in this li let's add the same thing and we will change the icon it is logout and text also logout you can see the logout icon also at the bottom next we will add this css so let's come back and here we have the class name that is side nav just copy this one and come back to this css file here we will add this class name. In this side nav we will add some CSS.
here we have added the width height and position fixed top left zero so it will be at fixed position and then we have the padding and we have added the background and then backdrop filter blur after that you can see the background for the sidebar has been changed it has the blurred background now we will come back and here we have the class name called user let's copy this class name write it here for this user we will add In this user, I have added display flex, align item center and justify content space between. Width is 100%. Then we have added the font size and added some padding. Border radius is 8 pixel and margin left right auto. After that, you can see the user image text and this start icon in the same horizontal line. Next, we have to change the size of this user image and we will add the CSS for this text also. So let's come back. Here we will add dot user and h2 for this text font size will be 15 pixel and font weight 600 white space no wrap then we have this class name user img just copy this and uh, let's come back to the css file here we will add the width it will be 40 pixel then we will add the border radius 50 percent so that it will be circle and margin auto and then we have another icon with the class name star icon so add this class name here and here also we will add the width width will be 20 pixel now we will come back to the website and you can see this user icon this text and this star icon is looking good next we will add the css for these icons and text so let's come back we have these icons in this ul then li so in this css file we will add ul in this ul we will add list style none then let's add some padding 0 and 15 pixel in this ul we have the li so write ul li and here we will add the margin then display will be flex align item center and justify content center and then we will add the cursor pointer now we have to change the size of these icons so let's come back here we will add ul li and img so for these images we will add the width it will be 30 pixel then we will add the margin right let's add the margin right 10 pixel so that will be a space between the image and text and we have the text in p tag so here let's add the ul li and p in this p we will add the white space no wrap after adding this let's come back you can see these lists are in the center so it should start from the left side for that let's come back and we will change it justify content flex start now it is starting from the left side right now this logout link is displaying here but we have to move it at the bottom so let's come back here we have the side nav in this side nav we will add display display will be flex then justify content justify content will be a space between and flex direction will be column now you can see we have a space here and before this logout link these text are displaying by default so we have to hide these text and it will be visible when we will take cursor over the side navbar so to hide these things let's come back here in this side nav we have width 250 pixels so we will make it 110 pixel 
and uh, after that we will change the width in this user here we will make it as 60 pixel and we will add overflow hidden now you can see we have some text here to hide this one let's come back and here we will add dot user div and it will be display none so that is hidden still we are getting the icon here so to hide this one let's come back and here we will add display none in this star img so it is also hidden now we have to hide these text which is dashboard reports rewards so let's come back here we have the ul li and p in this one we will add display display will be none so that is also hidden right now these icons are not in the center so let's come back and again we will make it as justify content center now everything will be in the center after that we have to add the hover effect when we will take cursor it should increase the width and it will display the other text so let's come back and here we will add dot side nav hover so after hover we have to increase the width so let's add the width of 250 pixel and earlier we have the width 110 pixels so here we will add the transition transition width 0.5 seconds after adding this let's come back to the website if i take cursor you can see the width is increasing next we will display the text that is user's name and the star icon so let's come back to the css file and uh, here at the bottom we will add side nav hover dot user div so earlier we have added user div display none so here we will add display block so it will be again visual you can see it is visible here but the width is zero that's why it is hidden so let's come back and again add this in this user we will increase the width so let's add the width 100 percent after adding this you can see this text is visual next we have to add the background in this users information so let's come back and here in this user we will add background and then we will add the backdrop filter five pixel so you can see the background here next we will display the star icon that is hidden so let's come back copy this one then write star img and we will add display block so you can see this icon is also visible right now this user's information and this icon is touching each other so let's come back and here let's add side nav hover and user img here we will add margin 0 now it is good after that we will display the text which is written for these icons so let's come back and here let's add this then write ul li and p in this p we will add display display will be block and uh, again add this one then write ul li and img here we will add margin right 10 pixel and let's come back and here we have added the margin right 10 let me make it 0 
and here we have the 10 pixel when we will take cursor and now you can see these text are displaying align all these things left side so let's come back and copy this one and just add justify content flex start now you can see this sidebar is looking beautiful now we have completed this beautiful sidebar that display the icon and when we take cursor it display the text also so i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video